it's me Lauren again and welcome to the second webisode of 10 on how to build a computer. Last time we installed the CPU. If you didn't see that one, be sure to find it on our website or on our Chaos Computers YouTube channel. Right now we are going to focus on installing the motherboard. Let's get a little background on what the motherboard actually does. The motherboard connects all the parts of the computer together. All operations of the computer go through the motherboard. Think of the motherboard as a rail network and each component as a train station, delivering information to the relevant components. Each motherboard differs by the socket it uses, the CPU it supports, and the chipset it runs. Using our train analogy, the chipset is the control room. The more complex the control room, the more trains it can handle. Motherboards come in different sizes, from the tiny mini ITX up to the micro ATX, full ATX, and the giant E ATX. It is important to ensure your board will fit into your chassis, so make sure that the chassis and board are compatible. Just ask any of the Chaos team, they will be able to advise you. On this occasion, we'll be installing a socket 1156 micro ATX board, namely the Intel H55PC or Tomco. Our first step is to open up this bad boy on the right hand side and remove all the accessories from the inside. Inside, you'll find an assortment of different size screws and some other bits and pieces. Before seating the motherboard, you must first install the I.O. panel. This protects the computer from dust and static. Find the I.O. panel included in the motherboard and break out any blinds that you may need to. Then position the I.O. panel in place and snap into the chassis. Find the gold colored hexagonal screws and screw them into the holes in the chassis. Ensure you only screw them into the holes that line up with the holes in the motherboard. Seat the motherboard into the chassis ensuring each hole sits on a mounting post. Now screw in the motherboard. Once the motherboard is securely in place, we need to connect all the front panel ports and lights. Find the black connectors coming from the front of the chassis. Using the manual for your motherboard, connect the front USB, audio, and front LED. The motherboard is now installed. In our next installment, we'll be installing the memory. Be sure to check it out and rate this video on YouTube and share it on Facebook. Cheers, see you next time.